Deceased issue four, Tom Taylor writing, of course, and uh, Trevor here sign on the art. And uh, yeah, um, I did not remember this one having a Final Destination variant cover. Uh, mm-hmm. I will say that because I, I remember thinking it was like four Conjuring Universe movies in a row. So credit. Oh yeah, this this was the Titans with Final Destination and Devin Sawa uh, of Final Destination tweeted how cool that was that, that he had a Robin in his place. Uh, on the cover that was pretty cool that was pretty neat mm-hmm. um so no, obviously we've been looking forward to this but with the join this book what's funny is i read um what did i read before this i read batman before this captain atom was in that so i, I actually laughed out loud i read the second i and yeah. I, I opened up and captain atom was there. i was like how much like captain two atom captain atoms i'm getting so much yeah. captain atom this week um so yes um he he ends up getting infected because they've got the atom inside an infected person and then Wall is like, okay, nuclear option time. We're sending you off to just ev- eviscerate, um, you know, the infected places. That's the point we're at. Such a Waller move, let's be honest. Uh, but of course, when he's out there doing this, he realizes that an infected version of the atom is inside his body and infects him, uh, which is super... T- I mean, the atom could go anywhere and infect anyone. It's, yeah. he's, he's just ripping it. Captain Atom's blood cells. Atoms, yeah. <laughs> like, t- 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 look, you should not have Atom inside Captain Atom. There's just, just you know, pick someone well, else. Well, that that did, like, no kidding, that did made it a bit confusing for Reed for a hot second. Because mm-hmm. it said, you know, they're referring to Captain Atom, but then he's talking to Atom, so it's like, is he talking to himself? No, there's the like, one thing where it just says Atom, and you're like, wait, is, yeah. is that Waller talking to Captain Atom, or is it yep. Captain Atom shouting at Atom yeah. inside of Yeah, no. I mean, I was hoping that Ray Palmer was going to make it out. Aww. So, <laughs> yeah. No one's making it out, Matt. Yeah, I don't know if I was making Bullshit. it out. Bullshit. We're, we're having a happy ending. I trust Tom Taylor. <laughs> After the, spider bite. after the final page of this issue, I'm not sure if I agree with that, Matt. <laughs> So, Let me have my dreams. Superman brings back my Ken, um, and we get this 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 Kent family hug when when John and Lois find out about Pac Kent. Uh, very very upsetting. Um, what's interesting here actually is that like John knows about Man Pac Kent in this world. He's met them because <laughs> right. obviously in Rebirth the the Kents have been dead for a while. So uh, mm-hmm. neat neat little dynamic we've not really had a chance to see before. Um, and it makes me think of all the scenes we've been robbed of of the Kents, like being with John and being grandparents and and all sorts. Didio. Didio. Oh. <laughs> uh, Superman's been using his X-ray vision uh, so that he doesn't look at any screens. Uh, neat, neat trick. Yeah, he's yep. taking all his feet. Um, but they broadcast over analog radio and analog TV signals to tell everyone what the plan is calls any heroes that hear them, any villains even, to come and meet them on the, the roof of the Daily Planet. And, you know, we see very, you know, we see Hot Girl, we see Beast Boy and um, uh, Cass, like, you hear, hear, hear this, and we, you know, we see Themyscar, we see, that's where Mira escaped to. Um, and yeah, like, Diana's still there. Yeah, it's basically all, all these people answering the call, and, you know, Diana's like, I'm going in, um, kind of thing. And, you know, Clark and uh, Diana go and get uh, Barry and Wally. Uh, and bringing them in, so which I I love that because it wasn't regular Wally, it was Wallace. Yes, but they fully owned him as being the Kid Flash in this universe, uh, and that they basically were staying where they were because they didn't want the virus to get the Speed Force. Hit. Yeah, because that would be super dangerous. That'd be I, I, right. I did like, like you know Wallace. Oh, I, I don't understand how Bruce is faster than us. It just shouldn't be possible. <laughs> but he's like, but he is. Yeah. yeah. That cracks me up. Yeah. Then we cut back to Harley, who's battling the zombified birds of prey, um, mm-hmm. and gets saved by Ivy. And uh, she's all like, "That was pretty romantic." <laughs> mm-hmm. So, God, Carl, this was your favorite scene in the book, right? I mean, it's a pretty damn good scene. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yes. Um, would you like a fiddle? Um, why, why am Why am I the mark for this? Yeah. Because you think it's the Harley thing. Yeah, because you like Harley and Ivy, whereas Matt's more of just an Ivy person. Well, that's fair. And I do actually like them together a lot. Oh, I, some, I do some too. Of the best stuff is the two of them. Yeah. It's a fun dynamic. Like, yeah. Yeah. Because um, I tend to like Harley better when she's not around the Joker. Yeah, I agree with that. 
Yeah. Yeah, and then Gigant, zombified, I should say, Gigant shows up and is really, you know, almost going to bring the planet down uh, with all the, the heroes that have mm-hmm. been left on top. Um, and that's when the Batwing shows up and it, like, you know, Damien's like, like, what? Yeah. What's happening? Um, and, and we, we figure it's probably Alfred because we know Alfred survived and is bringing the suitcase to him and that. Mm-hmm. Um, of course, Superman, the Flashies and, and then Dana show up and take down Giganta. Yeah. Well, no, um, well, they bring her down. Oh, I'm Wonder but, Woman, sorry. Uh, cyborg. Yeah. Well, Wonder Woman wants to just, you know, sword through the head. Yeah. Um, right. But Superman stops her. Well, I said take down. I mean, he was, she, she was already yeah, taken down before Cyborg blew the giant yeah. hole in her head. Yeah, um, which made for a cool visual, but made me feel icky. Yeah, yeah, it was great. Yeah, that's a proper horror movie visual, and mm-hmm. I kind of love it. I love that giant hole in her head, the Cyborg standing on the other side it's of it. It's such a fantastic image. Yeah, and I love that Superman is still determined to think that maybe we can save them, which is why I, one of the things I praised a lot a couple of years ago was the idea of Batman saying, no, they're not humans anymore, we have to kill them. Like, yeah, right. when he's crossed that line. Yeah. Well, yeah, but Superman's ever hopeful, yeah. you know, that there's still people in there. But it's oh, always it's, it's, yeah. it's the zombie that's not your mother anymore trope. Yes. You know, so I like yeah. that Taylor's playing with that. Um But yeah, but Cyborg's entrance is pretty cool. Oh yeah, it's pretty um, great. Cuz cause, uh, cause what led up to it too was there was this thunder and they thought it was uh Black Lightning's daughter Thunder. And she's like, yeah. no, that's not me. And then the Giganta reveal. Uh, I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah, that was you know, cool. They, they shoot out like her eyes uh, with the, yeah. the missiles, I think. Because uh, she's definitely got them at first, I think. Well, I mean, she seems to have something in her eyes, at least. Whereas after after a while, they're just empty spaces. Yeah. Like, ah, yeah. oh, it's fantastic. Yeah, and then uh, Hot Girl has, has been injured and she comes, sort of comes flying into the scene and Wonder Woman grabs her. And she she reveals that Captain Atom uh, has been turned and he's going to blow. And this is where we get our big, big ridiculous ending where he's at the White House and mm-hmm. he goes like super nuclear to the point where he's not just taking out the one area, like his, his blast is spreading across the country. It's like rape two page spread of just a giant orb of light uh, and buildings being decimated. Yeah, and when it talks about you know, Washington was gone, then Baltimore. And then finally, yeah, and then we see the heroes that are still on the roof of the Daily Planet, and the white lights coming towards them. And mm-hmm. it look, I mean, I mean, I'm assuming they're not because there's two more issues, but it, it looks like they're all dead. Yeah, yeah. someone, like... someone's telling the story, right? Like, yeah. So uh, yeah, I'm, um, assu- I'm assuming John and Damien are the ones that make it out just because they're the I'm, kids. I'm see? wondering if this light isn't quite what we assume it is maybe it's not the sure. just destructive explosion i mean right. it, it seems to be destroying the buildings we, i can see that but i'm wondering if there's more to it if it, maybe it's wiping out the virus or something like that yeah, yeah that's what i was thinking because we're over the halfway point now we have the the deceasing and that's what i'm calling it mm-hmm. because yeah it's what we know, should but be one shot yeah that's next right that's the next one yeah that's next so this is a little bit so i i feel like the next two issues are going to be them dealing with it kind of like Shaun of the dead does where you get to the end of Shaun of the dead and we see how you know the world the, has been changed the normality of it yeah and i, I feel that's where, where it's going and i feel like the deceasing is going to give us more of that zombie mm, type style you know walking dead ish just correct me if, of... if i'm mistaken here but i'm pretty sure that issue is not actually called the deceasing right it's no, not, but yeah. that's what I'm calling it's, it based it's off the cover. Deceased. I think it's called a good day to die. Yeah, like I was, yeah. I was just like, I'm pretty sure that's not the actual cover. Although I, I know why Matt's no. saying it, but <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm disappointed it's not called that because yeah, they should be called that. Yeah, no, um, no, nah, deceased issue four was yeah. solid again. <laughs> yeah, but because it's so quick to read and it feels big. It feels feels this epic story. Um, so sometimes Elseworldsy stuff can feel a little bit pointless meaningless yeah. yeah but this this it's it's well written well, it's, that it has weight well because there's there's that emotion in there and taylor knows how to break the tension you know the like the stuff with the flashes and batman being faster than them that's i always love a, a horror that's not afraid to do comedy oh yeah absolutely um some do a little bit too much i'm looking at you halloween 2018 but yeah so mm-hmm. uh and obviously, I mean, one of the things about talking about art and comic books is that you know, when we get the same artist issue to issue, eventually there's, there starts being things to note on specifically unless there's like a grand like moment or something. 
Um, and, yeah, the the art in this, some of the the John faces were a little bit wonky. Yeah, I, I think the, fa- the faces in general are very hit and miss for me with her sign. Um, yeah. I think his Green Arrow tends to look quite good. I think I think the goatee actually really helps yeah. his Green Arrow. Where sometimes like the, the clean shaven people are are, are not, <laughs> including including the women yeah. in that um, are yeah. a little wonky looking at times. So, you know, but I mean, overall, the actual progression of the, the action and the especially when it gets into the the zombie horror stuff of it, yeah, is fantastic. Yeah, well, the dead they like to have wonky faces. I don't know, just you know, when when Giganta shows up, yeah, I'm like oh man, and and that was absolutely the right call to do that as a double page. Oh, absolutely, yeah. You want yeah. the scale, you want the, the size of her for sure. Yeah, that, that was fantastic. Um, they should do a sequel to this called the the Undeceased. <laughs> Undeceased. No, okay. Whatever. Fine. Matt, what are you giving it? <laughs> um, I'm going to give it an 8. Uh, Connor? 8.5. I'll go with 8.5 as well. Yeah, I'll take it up.